Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you're well. We're up to day... Oh, I should have worked that out before I started. Oh, I don't know. I've lost track of it. We're up to about day 25 of harvest, roughly. About there, yeah, it's pretty close. I'll be 26. Anyway, that's irrelevant. So, we're on the contracting trail. If you watched the last one, we got our own finished. Uh, so, we've actually, there's been a bit of a gap between the last one and, and this one, but um, yeah, we haven't, not much has sort of changed. We've been harvesting wheat, so we're just uh, at the end of our regular job that we do on the edge of um, the township of Baruga. Um, head is going well, head is going really well. We're sort of, uh, we're averaging, doing about 500 tonne a day at the moment, um, so good yielding crops and big paddocks, that sort of stuff. We're not not having to turn around a lot of the machines in the crop um, a fair portion of the time, which is good. So we're getting, getting good capacity. Uh, we've got our truck running as well. Um, just the two singles um, weren't keeping up. So, but we've got about three hours left here where we are and then um, we'll move back out next door to home. And yeah, we've got about 90 hectares of canola and I think it's about 50 or 60 hectares of wheat left to do. Um, and then another little 10 hectare job um, down where we were pressing all the hay. They've just got a little patch of wheat down there that they left that they were going to do for seed. So we'll go down and blow it off. And then, yeah, that's about it. So what I'm thinking, um, probably tomorrow I might jump on the phone and just have got a couple of neighbours that have still got quite a bit of crop left um, to harvest. So we might just see if we can find a little bit more contracting work if we can. Um, yeah, we sort of, um, the capacity of the machines really sort of changed. Yeah, you know, we, we would have been normally probably three days at this job here to do the 100 hectares and we've, um, we've done it in, you know, we've done it in a day and a half, like pretty big days. We were going by nine o'clock yesterday morning and we knocked off about 12.30, quarter to one this morning. Um, yeah, so we... We've been, uh, yeah, wheels have been turning pretty well too. So anyway, we are getting across it. So weather forecast is gloomy. They are talking a few showers, um, not a hell of a lot, just a um, couple of mil. So there are a couple of spots on the window here at the moment as I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah, what else? What else, what else? Uh, got the water on the rice, which is good. Um, that took a little bit longer than what I had anticipated, but um, that's all right. And it's, it's amazing how it's jumped in the last couple of days. And we're just giving the corn another drink now. Uh, so still waiting. Still waiting on a couple of test results, um, just on compatibility of some nutrients that we're going to put through the boom spray and put on it. But we'll look at that next year, next week. And we've also got a water run, some urea, so you'll get to see that in time. Um, but no, some cropping jobs looking good. Uh, stock job has really kicked, lamb and cattle job, sheep jobs picked up, which is really good. So we've got another draft of lambs, hopefully. Um, we're going to look at them Friday morning. Agent's going to come out early and we'll have a look. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so Friday tomorrow. So Agent's going to come out and have a look at them and we'll, uh, yeah, there should be a draft there. And then he did have some a uh, couple of calls um, about the rest of the ewe lambs. So if we could uh, yeah, get them, find a home for them too, um, that'd be really good. We may buy a few more trade lambs yet. Um, we'll just, yeah, suck it and see. But, um, yeah, they're, they're going all right now. They've got their, their jackets off. Um, they've settled in pretty well. So, uh, yeah, no, it's all, it's all ticking along not too badly at the moment.
we're back in <coughs> back into the canola, excuse me. Yeah, so I got shifted back and yeah. Just poking along, it's pretty good going. Um, just sort of about two and a half ton. There's a few, a few patches in here that got wet. Uh, this is the one. Paddock, if you've been watching along that we wind right there. Oh, nearly two weeks ago now, I suppose. So it's a grazing variety, late long season variety canola. Uh, yeah, so it was still, still had a bit of flower on it when we were windrowing our own. So, uh, yeah, it just shows. Shows, luckily, we can. Other years we've done, well, this isn't ours, it's obviously a contract job, but um, when we've grown it ourselves, um, yeah, the canola bunkers are generally closed by the time we. Uh, time we get around to, to harvesting it, so yeah, logistically it can be a bit of a pain in the backside, but they are still open, thankfully, at the moment. So, uh, a few showers kicking around still. Uh, I think tomorrow we might get tomorrow in, hopefully, um, and then I think Saturday they're talking a bit of rain, so uh, by then we won't have a lot left anyway, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, it should all, should all work out. Uh, yeah, water's still running on the corn, and uh, yeah, it's all sort of tick along, not too bad. Just had a bit of a shower, skirt around to the north of this here, and there's a few a few spots about, but um, it didn't really get any here. But it's amazing how the moisture's drawn in, the stubble's drawn the moisture in, like we're, uh, we, yeah, we're back a bit in in ground speed and uh, yeah just because it's, it's rumbling on its way through so um, yeah it's just got, a, just got a bit tough so the radar is a bit hit and miss we might get something we might not um, just had a look at the weather forecast it looks to be 20 mil Monday um, so today's Thursday so yeah anyway we'll just suck it and see um, yeah but it might not eventuate either, but they are talking thunderstorms and that over the weekend. So, yeah, it'll just be wait, a wait and see, job. The weather's beating me. We just had another skippy shower, so Tony knocked off. Um, it was pretty slow going, or well, slow go going for the chaser bin. From what it was, so, um, yeah, he knocked off about up past seven. It's a bit after ten now. Um, yeah, I was sort of keeping an eye on the radar. There's been quite a lot go out to the north. Um, yeah, and just a little sharp one just came through and it wasn't wasn't heaps in it, but I was probably battling anyway. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a scatter to, um, yeah, empty the chaser bin because it was full and roll tarps and wind the, I probably haven't shown you the mother bin, it's got a, a bit like a roller door roof and uh, yeah, you wouldn't want to have to do it every day because it's a bit of a workout actually. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and change some water. Shower, coffee, bed, and I'll uh, see you guys in the morning having a bit of a draft up with some lamb. So we'll uh, see you shortly. Good morning. A little luck with me. A little luck. Uh, a couple of skippy showers overnight, but it is hanging around this morning a bit. So, which I think it was, I don't know whether it's supposed to rain too much, but there hasn't really been any anything overnight since I knocked off. I didn't, got up, well, I woke up once and didn't hear a few spits on the roof but yeah I don't think it's anything it's gonna be any major I think we'll be able to get going again this morning so yeah just come down and check where we're up to down here uh, we'll get this pump going in a minute and get some of this water back in where it's supposed to be that's all right um, I might just park the bucket here so we don't uh, knock too much corn down but he's down. I should have put my gum boots on. Uh, no, it's not too bad. So, not soft, it's only wet. That's alright. Just wander across here. So, the beauty about these is it runs into the recycle here. So, the last bay that we've got to water here, um, what we'll do is we'll just, you will pump it, so that's fine, and we can, we can then use that water again to. Um, we can put that the remaining water back on the rice, so it all sort of works pretty well. We don't, the water doesn't actually leave, get to leave the farm at all. So, uh, so but this one could go for a bit longer. So that's all right. We can we can shut this one off and start the next one, and um, yeah, give that one. I don't know whether you can, you probably can't see that water's up there. 
a bit. Uh, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, looking good. So we'll, once this dries out, we'll get a foliar, a nutrient spray on it next week, um, which we'll be able to do with the tractor all right still, hopefully. But the way it's grown, it's, it's going pretty well. And um, yeah, then we've got to get to and water run a bit of urea, which I'll, I'll get to show you that in time. I think I showed you this was the stop we um, we had the other day that we put in. It's gone in pretty rough and it should have gone in a couple of months ago. But anyway, it was a bit of an afterthought. Um, and it just wrecks so we can regulate the water going down to the northern bays and then across to the corn. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to... Now that we've got plenty down there, I'll just close this up. Uh, and this way here's probably got plenty of water on it. The beauty of it now that it's... Um, We've got water on, on, on things all the time, on the rice all the time, is we can just juggle. If we've got too much water, it doesn't really matter. Um, we can just top bays up and that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that's going to... I came down here, we, we put it in and then we had water here the next day, which was a bit dumb on, our, on my behalf, but anyway. Um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty ugly, so we might have to, um, next winter, dig it back out again and reset it and... Um, I think it'll be alright, it seems to be holding okay, um, but yeah, so I've got the outlet open at the top there out of this supply channel uh, into these bays, so we can let it top a bit up there, there's probably, yeah, I might just close this flap a little bit here so we're not, um, so there's not heaps running in here, the water goes off again about quarter to nine, so uh, yeah, that, it sort of starts to get a bit tricky because you sort of need, probably need a bit of water coming all the time. So whether, at the moment we've sort of got 12 megs coming just to, to get everything full. Um, so yeah, we'll probably, whether we just look at it in a day or two and just have a, a, a meg or um, something like that coming, megalitre, one, one and a half maybe, just to, just to keep that flow. Obviously the, the crop's using it, but also you're losing a bit with the evaporation as well. So um, it does become a bit of a juggling act, but yeah, we'll get it sorted. And yeah, having not grown it for a few years too, it's just, yeah, you're trying to get a feel for it again. So, but no, it should all work out all right. mishmash here because we had a few that we sure the new ones got through a fence the other day or through a hole in the channel so uh, sit down, sit down. so yeah so anyway we'll sort them up now which, which will be good get them back out again and back get them back where they should be here as well so he's <laughs> he's actually let them into the yard so uh, as much as he can be a pain in the backside because he's in the wrong spot a lot of the time, he uh, can be useful. Uh, we got the lambs drafted up, so we've got 150 to go to market. Uh, I've just started the irrigator here, just going to walk it round. Probably we've got lambs on here, but we're going to cut this um, loose and it's got pretty long and rank and probably not all that palatable, so we're just going to cut it for hay and give it a bit of a uh, reset. But what I'm going to do is walk around, walk the irrigator around to this other half and we'll put, um, I don't know, 30 or 50 mil or something on it. <coughs> uh, we've got got a bit of water in the dam there so it should, should be alright. It's a bit the same. But it's, there's a bit of a bit of longer stuff just here um, through this bit of depression but out further it's quite short. The lambs have had it flogged back so yeah once we give it a drink well we can <coughs> we can swap the lambs over. But yeah, this stuff's just got a bit rank, rank on us. Who's <coughs> made just yeah got away, so I'll, 
once it gets round I'll actually set a stop um, or a reminder in my phone at the very least to stop it once because we've still got the gates closed on the fence here uh, yeah but been a few skiffy showers nothing of any sort of real amount so we're gonna go and, and uh, jump up ahead and get it going We've been dodging them for a couple of days, but our luck has run out. So we've just got a, a thunderstorm that's come through and we've just caught the edge of it. There's been more of it go around to the north, but we did get going. I've actually brought the header home and stuck it in the shed. We're a bit, ooh, a flash of lightning. Uh, yeah, we're a bit jammed for shed space at the moment because all the sheds are full with good hay in them. So anyway, uh, yeah, so we're, We've uh, pulled up stumps for the day and we'll probably battle to get going tomorrow, I would have thought, with this, but we'll uh, just see. I think tomorrow they're talking, talking showers tomorrow too, <coughs> but uh, anyway, we'll see how we go. We might wind her up. Uh, yeah, thank you again for taking the time to watch and yeah, um, yeah, keep liking and um, subscribing and if you, yeah, think it's uh, worthy and uh, you're enjoying it tell your mates and um, yeah hopefully we can spread around a bit and share what's going on and um, yeah more people can get a bit of a kick out of it and see what actually goes on and how we work things um, yeah it'd be good so anyway thanks again we'll see you next time Ta -da.